Hey guys, excuse the mess, like everywhere. Today's video is going to be my um, advice video for starting out in middle school or if you're like the new girl in middle school. Just basically this is just the survival guide, I guess. So. This is going to be my third year, aka 8th grade, of going into middle school. And um, I decided to make an advice video for you guys because a lot of people get scared when they start out in middle school. So we're just going to get started and let's go. The first thing I have to say is be yourself. I know that's the dumbest thing, dumbest advice that anybody can give you. Let's say you're the new girl and you're, you're starting over. This is your chance to be yourself. I mean, you don't have to act like the most popular girl in school there. You don't. Because what? why do they matter so much? They're people just like you. Everybody matters the same. Just because she's popular or she's rich or she's beautiful and gorgeous and everybody likes her and everybody thinks that she's so cool and they want to be her. Now, I'm not saying you can't hang out with her. Because maybe she might be your best friend. She might have so much in common with you and you guys might end up being best friends. I'm just saying that you don't always have to follow the cool crowd. Just be yourself and nothing else matters but being yourself. The second thing is to stay organized. I know um, being organized is such a hard thing for some people and it is for me. Honestly, look at this. Like. I'm being such a hypocrite right now. But for school, I mean, um, try to have like binders and stuff because binders really, really help you like, because you can have like a take home thing section and then you could have like a permission slip section. This just really helps you. And also having a planner. My school gives out planners and um, they're really ugly. I usually decorate them really well, but it's just good to be organized and make sure you're taking the right books to class because that would not be a good thing. The third thing is to not be scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a new place. Basically, you're going to get used to it. Ever, like Probably in the first month of your middle school year, you're going to be so used to it. You're just going to be like, oh my gosh. I know my way around school, I know a decent amount of people, I just, I kind of know my way around, I mean, I don't know everybody, but I have a pretty good idea and I can live through the day without freaking out. It just takes time and practice and getting used to and um, everything does. There's nothing to be afraid of. I know when I started out in middle school, the night before, I was laying in that bed right there and I was freaking out. I was crying myself to sleep. I was up at 1 in the morning the night before school started and I was just like scared to death. You don't need to worry about that. Just ha make sure to have a friend. If you're the new girl in school, then just Try to introduce yourself to somebody. If you're shy, it might be really, really hard, but try to join different things. Try to join, like, sports. If sports is not your thing, then join, like, theater or band or choir. Or you can join, like, clubs, like, different clubs that I don't know what kind of different clubs that you have at your school. But try to join different things. Try to um, try something new, and um, you can meet a lot of new people and it'll be really fun. Just try to do something that you especially would like to do and you'll meet people who like doing it too and those are like true friends and that's a really good way to start. The next thing is bullying. People are always like, oh my gosh, do the 8th graders bully the 6th graders? Honestly, at my school, nobody really, like, the 8th graders don't really bully the 6th graders. I'm an 8th grader and Honestly, I just find the 6th graders just like 6th graders, little tiny kids. My little sister is in 6th grade this year and she's going to my school and I just find her a little turd. I'm kidding. Really, like, they're just literally, not every 8th grader is mean. There are the really immature 8th graders who are like, oh, man, man. And you just gotta ignore them. They're just stupid and they'll learn to be more mature and hopefully they do otherwise they will have a horrible life. If you have to deal with bullying, either it's in your grade or grade above, 
or in the grade the grade above make sure to always tell an adult I know that seems like such a hard thing because it's like I don't want to be a chicken or meh meh but you have to do it if you want it to stop you gotta have it stop and you can't try to deal with it yourself that's probably the worst thing that a kid has to go through make sure to find help because trying to help yourself is not a good idea and it leads to very bad things whether it's a teacher or a parent or somebody you just trust you gotta tell them and um they'll they won't be like oh um she said that you're bullying her they probably talk to them and actually try to deal with it and not tell the specific person and they'll hopefully stop if they don't stop, you gotta remember to stand up to them. I'm not saying to fight back. That is a horrible idea. That is a horrible idea that just gets you in trouble. And sometimes it gets you in trouble, not the bully. You have to just stand up for yourself or just ignore it. Just completely walk away, ignore it, pretend they're just like a piece of poop. Just walk away, just be like, la la la, I don't know you, I don't care. Or pretend it doesn't bother you. And... It shouldn't bother you because their opinions don't matter and you should just leave because the sooner you realize that it doesn't matter to you what they think about you, the sooner they realize that they're not bothering you anymore so they have to leave and they will realize that they failed at what they did to try to get you mad and they'll leave. The next thing is to get up at a good time to get ready. If you are very slow in the morning or you're just like, oh, I hate getting up, I hate it, I hate it, I hate getting up early, I just can't do it. Then you need to set an alarm and maybe even like three alarms. You could set one on your phone or your iPod or your iPad or on your alarm clock. I have an alarm clock. I hate my alarm on my alarm clock. So sometimes I might set my phone on. And to make sure to pick out your clothes before you go to bed. I know that seems like the hardest thing. And it's like, what if I change my mind in the morning because I change my mind all the time. Just have at least an idea of what you're going to wear and not like... Oh my gosh, there's no clothes in my closet. I hate all my clothes in my closet. I can't stand it. I just, no. You gotta actually plan it out and be like, okay, I could either wear these pants or these pants. Or I could wear this shirt or this shirt and then get like your socks and other great imaginable stuff that you wear. And the last thing is you have fun. You're going to be in middle school for three years. That's really the typical middle school, three years. Have fun at middle school. You're going to look back each year and say, what was I thinking? But so what? You are young and you learn every year. You learn each day of your life. You learn differently every day. You change your mind every day. You do stupid things every day. It happens to everybody. You cannot regret your middle school years. You just gotta keep going, forget the past, and just keep going with your life and enjoy the moments that you have. You're only gonna be in middle school once. You gotta live it. So that was my, um, middle school advice video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor or a therapist or a psychologist. Don't criticize me and also you can comment down below or personal message me if you guys still are confused or you have questions and you're still scared because I will help you out. I've been in middle school now. This is my third year again and I can help you out with anything and any questions and I just don't want anybody feeling like they just like are confused and nervous for middle school because it's nothing to be nervous about. So um, that was it for this video. See you guys in my next video and thanks for watching. Bye!